Shalom and God bless you. This is Prophet B.F. Rams, founder and senior pastor of Royal Assembly Ministries International. It is a great delight, a great pleasure to be welcoming you to yet another month, another season. We have had nine months of God's goodness, nine months of God's grace, nine months of divine impact. We have experienced God. To Him be all the glory. Every one of us that is under the sound of my voice, you can attest to God's love, mercy, goodness, and care over your life. He deserves all the praise. We have entered another season. In this last three months of the year, God has a word for us. And that word is simply what I'm bringing your way today. We have learned of kingdom elements. We have learned of righteousness, of faith. We have learned of the things that can make us fruitful in our lives. And we are moving forward in this month from 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. The Bible says something very powerful, that the kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power. The kingdom of God is not in logos, but it is in dunamis. Logos is just a thought, freely spoken words. He says the kingdom of God is not just words that are thrown around, but the kingdom of God is in dunamis. Dunamis means force, miraculous power, the power that brings miracles. The same 1 Corinthians chapter number 2, from verse 1 all the way to verse 4. In verse 4, Paul says something very important. He said, when I came unto you, I did not come unto you with the wisdom of man's knowledge. I came to you with the demonstration of the spirit and of power. Verse 5, he says, so that your faith does not rely on the wisdom of people, but it will be dependent on the power of God. We are not born again to a loose life. We are born again to the life of power, the life of greatness. And in this month, God wants to show us the amount of power that is resident in the child of God, the power that can change things, the power that can bring results, the power that gets prayers answered, the power that brings miracles, signs, and wonders. It is in the light of this that October 2023 is prophetically termed kingdom power. That is it, kingdom power. Go ahead and clap your hands and celebrate God for kingdom power. You can clap more and celebrate God for kingdom power. It is very important for you to understand that throughout this month, you are going to be opened up to the life of power. You are going to be opened up through the scriptures to know, to understand if this power is resident in me, how can I demonstrate it? Miracles, signs and wonders are not just the privilege of men of God, prophets, apostles, and pastors. They are the privilege of the children of God. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Because we believe in God, let's join in this teaching series and receive the impartation that will cause you to be in charge of life in Jesus' mighty name. Shall we rise up on our feet as we get the prophetic prayers of the month of October? As I will be speaking over you and over this month, let me hear a resounding amen that shows you believe in these prayers. I decree and declare that October 2023 is hereby prophetically opened in the name of Jesus. As this month is from God and everything that is from God is blessed, has no iota of sorrow. This shall be our month of joy with no iota of sorrow in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this month of kingdom power, may the power resident in you be steered up, manifesting good results everywhere you are found in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that October shall bring you your most notable testimonies in the name of Jesus over this ministry and over every royal family member, everyone connected to this ministry, by kingdom power, win your greatest battles in the name of Jesus. Achieve your greatest milestones this month in the name of Jesus. Experience possibilities this month in the name of Jesus, by kingdom power. Nothing shall be difficult for you this month. Every prayer you will pray shall be answered. Every proclamation, every declaration, every decree shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. The thoughts of your mind are anointed for power. 
The words of your mouth are anointed for power. The steps of your life are anointed for power. Everywhere your name shall be mentioned of your company or anything that concerns you, the power of God is getting to work and bringing you favor and victory in the name of Jesus. By this same power, enjoy supernatural favor. In Jesus' mighty name, every evil scheduled against you by kingdom power, you will overcome you will overcome you will be more than a conqueror you will be more victorious in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus mighty name you are blessed please let's be reminded every sunday every wednesday we have our midweek services ensure to join in as we'll be going through this teaching series of kingdom power where you will learn how much of this power you have how you can exercise this power how you can do the miraculous how you can sustain the miracles and the testimonies that god gives to you also remember our monthly prayer is starting tomorrow the 2nd of october the 3rd and the 4th ensure that you are a part of it the theme is simply divine encounters experiencing the supernatural be a part of it and on wednesday will be the grand finale with the communion as well much more we have one of our most important days in the calendar which is the family fun day right here in Khaborone, botswana on the 15th or rather the 14th not 15th 14th of october we'll be having our family fun day uh, that will be having some good time playing together uh, seeing people outside of the church walls ensure that you are a part of it as well to the glory of god you are blessed in jesus mighty name see you in every of our services so long Thank you.